The fastest way to feel at peace is not detachment nor quieting your mind, but to attach the mind to something that can propel you forward, move you forward towards healing, health and happiness. Hello fabulous one. Today we are talking about the true function of your mind and how to work with it instead of against it. Welcome to Self Mastery School for Moms, where you learn how to silence your inner saboteur, awaken your energy body and connect to your higher self. You will go from mom to master, so you can make each day your masterpiece. My name is Janice Nelson, author and self-mastery teacher of Fabulous One Philosophy. I'm on a mission to help you become the awakened mom. You are Fabulous One, and all you have to do is remember what you forgot. What we have to do is reroute our mind. We do it unconsciously, and now we have to do it consciously. When you think of a negative thought, an old story that doesn't make you feel good, the best thing to do is to redirect your mind towards a thought that makes you feel good. In the beginning, this will be hard and almost make you feel ridiculous, but you must practice. I'm not talking about positive affirmations where you say positive things about yourself you do not believe. You need to think of something that brings you joy and happiness to distract your mind from going off the negative deep end. Your mind is a chatterbox. It's designed this way. Your mind is also designed to attach and grab things. So the nature of your mind is not to let go, but to attach. Your mind's nature is as well to isolate and specify. Show the specific details. Zoom in, so to speak. Your mind wants to identify and find a reason for what it is thinking and uses the five senses to jump to conclusions. It's your body, the subconscious mind, who is present. Your subconscious has the power to let go and feel free. The body is not a hindrance, but a help. It's your body who can help you find your center. When you look into the mirror, all your body can do is to say, yeah, that's me, I'm here now. It's the mind who will go into the past and future while staring at herself in the present moment. When the mind looks into the mirror, she says, oh, I should not have eaten that burger yesterday. Or I need to add some extra cardio sessions in the next two weeks. All you did was look in a mirror and your mind became a time traveler reporting back to the body what she feels here in the now. The mind thinks in the past and future, but the body feels what the mind is thinking right here and now. So the most beautiful thing to me is that we have to come to recognize that the body is the present one, not the mind. The mind is not the present one. The mind is the one who wants to grab things and attach to things and move all over time and space. Oh, look at that pointing the body's head in a certain direction. Your body is in for a roller coaster ride, going up and down, left and right, positive or negative. No wonder we feel so exhausted, even if we think about what we did in a day. Sometimes we have to be honest and say, not that much, why am I so tired? You've been thinking all day, it's exhausting, especially if our mind is all over the place. So instead of working against our mind's nature, let's work with it. Allow her to grab or hold on to thoughts, but you decide which thoughts are allowed. Who are you? I'm talking to the soul. You are a soul that has a mind and body with a mind of their own, but it's only the mind who believes to be separate from body and soul. The body and soul are very much connected and in alignment the moment the mind stops chattering. But the soul and body do not judge the mind. They love your mind unconditionally and therefore allow her to think all the thoughts she wants, even if they are bad. So we have to distract our mind with positivity. Not positive thoughts, but positive focus. Meaning, when your mind goes off on a tangent, You pull up a bunch of flowers on your phone and start looking at them. Complete 
360 degrees change. Do not be subtle. Don't apologize to your mind. When you find yourself in a negative thinking pattern, you say, should I buy a new item for the kitchen? Does my husband need new socks? Let's get a funny t-shirt for my son at the 5M Below store. What color do I want to paint my nails today? Let's take a nice hot bath. Let's go play fetch with the dog outside. Yes, you need to completely change the subject on yourself. Do it so abruptly that it sends a clear signal to your mind she just trespassed and needs to auto-correct. In the beginning, this will feel difficult, but you will have to create some new triggers to get you back into a fabulous flow instead of a fake fantasy. Be honest with yourself and say, yes, I know you are mad about this, but did you? And then fill in the blanks. Come with a distraction to refocus your mind's attention. You can even say to your mind, okay, I will listen to you later, but can we first decide what we need to cook for dinner today? I think we need to go to the grocery store. Let's make a list. Wasn't it our cleaning day today? Let's put on our favorite music and clean the bathrooms like we had planned. So don't stop your negative thoughts. Don't tell yourself you are a bad person for thinking these negative thoughts. And as well, don't fall into the trap of convincing yourself that your negative thoughts are the fault of all these negative people you have in your life. Your thoughts are your thoughts. Nobody controls your thoughts but you. So you have the power to refocus your mind on something else. Use that power. Strengthen that muscle. I can give you another good example. Let's say you wish to lose weight. Instead of denying yourself the bad foods, you just tell yourself, I can eat all the bad food I want after I eat my healthy food. I need to eat my vegetables and protein first. If I'm still hungry, I can eat junk food or sweets. So, instead of stopping cold turkey with all your negative eating habits, you crowd them out by eating a lot of good and healthy things. You don't say no to negativity, you just say yes to positivity. Say a lot of yeses in a day to the positive things in your life and you hardly notice you had negative thoughts. And because you never told yourself you may not think negatively or must quiet your mind, your mind won't fight you but will allow the distraction to happen. The more you can practice this habit of thinking, the more normal it will feel. And after some time, you will do it naturally. You won't stick to the negative as long as you used to. You will let go and move on to the next thing in your mind. The mind and body can work individually and as a union. It's important we learn both styles, not just one. They have their own individual function and when they both put their skills to work for the whole, they create magic together. Your mind is a focusing machine. Where your mind goes, your body makes it grow. This process will take time to perfect in the beginning, but the more you do it, the easier it will become. That's the practice of doing the work. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Redirect, redirect and redirect. At some point, you'll notice you are thinking about positive things and your focus will be much more on feeling better and doing better. Never judge yourself when you have negative thoughts. It's about having the awareness. Oh, I'm not supposed to be here. Go in the other direction. Just like the navigation system. You're not supposed to be here. You took a wrong turn. Your navigation system will recalculate and ask you to make a U-turn at the nearest exit and put yourself back on the road towards your higher self. You will notice when you put things into practice that challenges will pop up from everywhere. Husbands or kids will do things to make you angry. Redirect, redirect, redirect. Family and friends will make you question your own self-worth. Redirect, redirect redirect. 
the mind will try to convince you to stay here by making you feel guilty. What? Are you leaving? You don't care about family or friend X, Y, Z? Are you going to let them get away with this? Are you not going to do something about this? Nope. You will redirect your mind to focus on something more fruitful and productive, something that moves you towards your higher self. The human matrix moves you away from your higher self through distraction and distortion. Everything becomes a tremendous time and energy suck. Don't fall into the trap of thinking that everything the mind thinks has priority. It's about exclusion. There are only a few things important in your life. Focus all your attention there and let the rest just be. Don't feed it any thoughts, especially if you feel you always end up in a dark place. Don't convince yourself you need to solve a problem or you need to set someone straight or stand up for yourself because it's not fair if they get away with this bad behavior. Let them behave badly and you direct your focus back on the positive things you are doing. Become a warrior queen of the universe and protect your focus at all costs. When you read my book, you will find out you are not fighting others. You are fighting entropy. The constant influx of chaos thrown into your life by the expanding universe. A huge part of being in the awakened state is about not taking anything personal by understanding how the laws of the universe work and making the connection from the macro to the micro. Meaning that human beings behave in a pattern, recognize the pattern and it becomes practically impossible to take things personally. You will predict the future and just look at your watch and say, five, four, three, two, one, and here we go. And you will laugh, believe it or not. You will know before they know it themselves, how they will respond and behave, and you won't bite anymore. Your mind is otherwise engaged. The sign on your forehead says, occupied do not enter it's like there's no more room for negativity negativity needs to wait outside there's no audience here for negativity and negativity realizes to move on and find another mind thank you for listening if you would like to get familiar with the complete teaching of the fabulous one philosophy i highly recommend you buy my book And if you are excited to become a self-master, I invite you to join my online self-mastery school for moms, where I help you transform your inner saboteur into your inner strength, so you can make each day your masterpiece. Student level membership is free. Looking forward to seeing you inside.